Oh, what an Uber G MVP. That's how it's done, folks. All right, guys, good morning. Mr. G bringing you coffee cross out today. We're back with our brand new account that is Nuber G here. We're sitting at level four engineers and that's it. So we're going to pop over to storage. We're going to dump everything we can right now just to make a little bit of coin. So we're going to look down here at the sell price uh, 5.26. Well, that means we can sell for 5.25. Always click trade, never just do the auto sell because it'll just sell to whoever's the highest, you know, just, no, just don't, just hit trade, it's early, um, it's another hundred here, 5.25, could have clicked up an uh, extra unit there, but I'm just sleepy, we're waking up, it's early, uh, let's go ahead and head on over to market, let's take a peek at all the white cabs we can look at. All right, so I'm thinking what Huntsman would give us eight points of energy, eight points. And the, does the docker we have is seven points. So we're gonna go ahead and grab ourselves. Oh, Duster would be great, but we just don't have the coin. So we're gonna grab ourselves a Huntsman here. And we'll go ahead and let's see, we got buy orders starting at, uh, you know, we're going to be lazy for the sake of we're on YouTube and we're recording. We're just going to buy it and do the exact opposite of what I just said. So, let's tear this build apart and let's let's start over. Let's see if we can make it make it better. Make it improve. So, we got a fuel tank there. Oh, my goodness. All right. Let's grab our new cab. So, we've got... Less tonnage, but we have more energy than the docker. I don't know why we grabbed the docker last time. It was early. And I just am not used to playing with white caps, so um, my bad's on that one. Okay. Let's see what we can do. We're definitely going to stick with... Well, we did Avenger for a while. Let's, let's go ahead and try a little bit of a different build for you guys. What's it? It's not called Lupar anymore? What's it called? Let's... Let's go to market. It should be Lupara. I was just in the wrong spot. I was in storage. Let's pick up to the exact opposite of what I said. Not hit trade, which you should always hit trade. But this is so cheap that it just doesn't really matter. We're going to grab grab a couple of those guys. Let's grab a couple of shotguns here. Okay. Um, we're going for speed. So we're going to ditch this extra wheel in the back. We're going to make this thing as light and fast uh, as possible. We're gonna mount the shotguns. So we have, if we had grill pieces, we could mount those to that, but we don't. So we're gonna side mount these. Keep some, you know, makes it a little harder to aim them when you have two aiming sideways and you know one aiming forward. One more point of energy. All right, what can we do? I'm guessing there's no way in the world we're gonna be able to afford uh, our first generator. Uh, which would help if we would do the hardware section. Um, 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 what's the what's gas gen? What's that running for? Okay, give us give us a gen here. Not that one. Um, is this locked? Oh, because we don't have the money. We have to have the required level to buy this now. Oh, that's interesting. All right used to be if you had the money you could get whatever you want but that's actually probably really good because we would be in full uh seal clubbing mode here if we weren't careful um no i don't have anything in search now so just refresh back to all the parts back in here hardware what do we got for white and blue um no no weapon radiator maybe be handy uh, Dunhorse, no. Engine would be nice. Uh, the Hardcore is a great starter engine. Maybe we can grab one of those. Nope, we're going to need more coin. So, looks like your average blue right now is sitting at about 30. Ooh, okay, we're going we're gonna to grind. We're going to get a light gen. That's going to be our first thing. We're going to grind that, or we're going to get the Hardcore engine. Either one of those would be really good starter parts to get. But instead... Well, we're going to go with booster. 
We're gonna make something silly. We have any extra energy? We have one. Ooh, two points of energy. Yeah, we could do a cord. But we don't. Do we have any hardware? Uh, yeah, we're gonna do a cord. We're gonna do a cord. Right now, we're gonna try these on different keys. We'll see how that goes. Okay. Um, let's get some hit points on this thing. Doesn't need a lot, but it could use some. Put that back up. So we're using control here when we're just repeating a part. And remember, you guys can flip stuff around with Q and E. You know that. Remember, another easy trick I learned is if you want to just put something on the other side of your build and you want to look the same, just you hit control, Q twice, and boom, you're done. Or Q and E both, hit them both twice, and you'll flip it around and it'll be right where you need it. Okay, so at least the fender protects our build a little bit there. Protects the Lupara Skosh. Uh, we need more armor around this weapon. We get it underneath. Oh, that'll be nice for the fuel tank. We'll keep that there. We have no more of those. We had the one. Well, that's just the pits. That's just a bummer. We need to armor up uh, frames in the front here so we don't get them blown off at the first go here. <sighs> the piece is just not quite long enough, but we're going to have we're gonna have to deal with it. We're going to just deal with it. Throw some hatchets on the front if we're taking out frame pieces here. Okay. Um, the back, I uh, usually worry less about the back. Right now we're kind of just trying to protect our frames here. Can we, can we get anything? Is it going to fit? Oh, it's going to fit there. Oh, that looks better. Let's do that on the other side. Go running board. There we go. Okay, keep our frames protected. Because if we lose our frames, the whole build comes apart, guys. I mean, if we, let me just look. Boom, you lose all your rear wheels. Bad news bears, uh, losing your frames. Now, my apologies for being a bit rambly and slow today. It's been a while since we've played at this level and played with these parts. So we're just trying to use, you know, upper, higher power score techniques here and lower power score. I just remember I just didn't try anything interesting with, with most of the parts when I first started out because I didn't know that you can flip things around and use things in a number of different ways. And we're going to use as many things as we can to get our HP up. So we're at 1700 power score, 460 durability. Can we squeeze that up a little bit more? Now, we don't really even need to worry about protecting the cab per se because honestly, anything we stick on this build is going to get added to our hit points um, as added to our durability. Unless it's a frame, a grill, or a bumper. Those do not add to your durability at all. So do remember that, right? That's super ugly. Oh, is there any way we can? No, we just... Yes, we can make this symmetrical. Come on, guys. We can do this. We can do this. And we'll flip this over. So there we go. And what else we got? What else we got? Let's stick this ugly beast on the front here. Oh, there we go. Oh, my goodness. We're going to have this derpy, shooty thing 2.0 ready in a GIF. Protect our rear frame there. Oh, vehicle limits. And we're going to move this. And we're going to stick it back here. And protect our rear frame bits. And just get a little more frame protection. We're going to move these around. Nope, we can't because wheel wells. Well, that's just too bad. Do we like the... This, this is going to give us more weld points, though. Let me attach to more parts. It's as good to have a part attached to as many other parts as possible. Because if you have one part only attached to one other part and you lose it, you lose that part too. But because this was also welded to the cam, we didn't lose that. That's just welding 101 right there. Do we have any paint... Uh, we have an engineer flag. Slap that on. All right, we'll take it. So it means we need to lose, unfortunately, one part. So we're going to grab that, put it right there, put that there. Okay, like I said, do we have paint? We've got Oasis. Look at that. We're going to go with... Wow, that's so ugly. Okay, let's let's check out our weapon keys here. Lupara's on one. You know what? We'll put the 
Oh, we're just gonna put the put them on the same weapon group for starting out right now. It's not ideal because they have different ranges. And now we're doing different weapon groups. Why? Because the cord's gonna have way, way more shooting before it overheats. So yes, quick information. We're gonna let's see if we can do those on different ones because we're gonna overheat and they'll be far as fairly quickly. And you know what? Can we get weapon coolers? Let's go to market here and see what we can get. Can we get a cooler? Weapon radiator. Oh, yes. We can buy two of those. We're absolutely going to do that. Nah. We could get it cheaper, though. We could get it for 0 0.05. All right, let's see what happens if we put in an order for 0 0.06. We need two of these right out the door because we need them. And we need them now. Let's look over here. Not quite. All right, which means... For the sake of YouTube, we're going to go ahead and just buy them outright. But if you just waited, we would get these. Um, so I highly recommend using the trade feature. All right. Let's get back over here to market parts. And we're just going to buy two of these. Because that, that loop, I mean, that uh, cord that we bought is just not going to do much good. Let's just get a little bit more uh, cooling here to keep our Luparas firing. So I'm gonna move you engineer flag. No weld points, well that's just the point. Okay, we now have two weapon radiators. Can we get you guys in there? One more energy. We can't, oh, we gotta ditch the cord, Mr. G. Like I said, it, it's early today. Waking up slow. Get in there. Get, at least detach here to see not going to out oh, wheel that's why that's why and wouldn't mind a little bit of armor on those guys um, bummer can we ditch just move that down less likely to get shot to pieces here all right we'll try this we'll try this terrible setup oh we need more parts we need more parts. Highly recommend buying one of the cheaper packs because it bumps your part limit to 55 right out the door. Right now we're stuck at like 25, which is just terrible. But all right, we've got... You know what? I do not like where these guns are. Always test the build. Let's just make this easier to aim. And we haven't protected them at all, Mr. G. A little armor on these things. Let's see what we can do here. We fit it in there. You can see we're, we're not loving this build right out the door. We're, we're working on it. Um, no. I hate this. I hate it. Is it going to work, though? Yes, maybe. We're going to leave the back more open. We shouldn't be getting shot in the back too terribly, hopefully. Let's try this. Let's try it. And yes, you can hold alt and you can look without turning your weapons. That doesn't matter how much unless you're using big cannons or something that takes forever to turn. Oh my god, this thing's ugly. And a little front heavy. But let's see how we do with shotguns and super low power score. Now we've got a flag. Should help with our grinding. Let's get to battle. Alright, so here we go. Two Lupara shotguns. This will be the last go with these and then I'm definitely gonna give Avengers, uh, go back to Avengers, just because I'm just doing so much better with the Avenger than I am with these shotguns. This guy's got a purple radar detector. Are you serious? Oh, he's aiming. Oh, so it's a bot. Right. Oh, that, interesting. I'm just lovely seeing new bots in the game, I'll say that. Oh my goodness, that's the whole enemy team, so let's not go in there without support. We got somebody up here. Just sniper mode. I'm not paying attention to his radar at all. I'm trying to snipe with cords. Well, you have no cords now. Always strip guns, especially if you have shotguns. That's mainly what they do. They just strip people's weapons off. So quickly. There we go. That's him done. And what do we got over here? Somebody? Anybody? And nope, he's right over there. Always pay attention to your radar, guys. 
Public service announcement here for Mr. G. Growl cab. That's going to be the first cab we pick up. It's a great cab. It really is. I and mean, it's a light cab. So it's going to have more energy. That is definitely the first thing I want to get. That's in a gas gen. We'll see how we do. Slaughter Blitz. Excellent. Excellent derpy name. All right. Boom. Let's see you done. Let's see. Oh, this. This is a good build right here. He's got dual... Dual Avengers on a Growl. That's pretty similar to what I want to make. Oh, but we did strip them because we had shotguns. So, sorry, friendo. That's you done. Oh, what an Uber G MVP. That's how it's done, folks. Alright, we have hit level 5, which bumps our part limit to 30. We can get more fuel and we get some new parts. So, let's, let's redo our build. Copper is important. Yes, it is. Uh, we're not going to get to crafting yet on this episode. Or raids. We're just working on a starter build. So we had 16 coin. How much is a gravel cab going to cost us? Help if we went to market. Okay. Um, bum, bum, bum. Okay. And gravel cab. We really want the gravel. 37. And we're going to have to grind some more. What do we have that we can sell? Storage. Resources. We're at 90. We need to get a little more scrap before we can sell anything. So, we did Luparas. Um, I, did, I did my go with those. We're going to get back to using uh, the Avenger. I think we were doing much better when we were running the Avenger. We're going to slap that back on here. You got to see shotgun build. Okay, what, what do we got for parts in here? We got more part limits, which is good news. Yes! We've got ourselves a grill, guys. Now, these are amazing parts. Um, you'll notice when we put it on, it does not add to our durability or our hit points. But what it does do is it lets shots pass through it. Um, so it's a decent part for putting your weapons on. Um, because it's, it's, it's not going to get blown off as quickly. Like, machine gun rounds are going to go through it. So we're going to slap our Avenger on here. A little bit behind the cab so that it's getting protected by the cab. So we've got a one well point below the cab. You can see that by hitting F. And then let's get some other bits and bombs in here protecting uh, our Avenger so that it doesn't get completely blown away instantly. Um, and we have a, more of a part limit now, so we can do that. Some fenders on this thing too in the front, huh? Make it look a little prettier because your build looking good is just as important as it playing good. No, it's not, but it kind of is. It kind of is, guys. You know I like it to look pretty. Um, let's put this in back. Let's use these in back. We'll stick that back in the front. So let's get some different weld points on here. Protect our frame. So we have another one of these. We have three. Beautiful. And we have enough energy. Three for a shotgun. So that's Lupara back on here. Unless we put a weapon radiator and a cord. Should we do that? Should we do a cord and a one weapon radiator? That might give us more. I'm worried the cord's blocking the firing arc there. I have to take a peek. Can we fit that in there? Get in there. Get. No. Rotate. There you go. There you go. Close that up. Tell you what, those extra five parts are making a huge difference right now. We can add more to our build. Now we don't need to protect the cab, but we do need to protect our guns. We have one more part left. Oh, it's going to be asymmetrical, but we'll put it right there. Put it right there. We need back one. Let's go see if our core is going to block our Avenger. So we're going to do Avenger on one, cord on two. See how we're doing. Can our Avenger aim? Oh, it's going to block shots. We're going to need to move it. No? Can we? I don't Maybe we don't need to move it. We Can Can we still hit? Can we still hit with the Avenger? Oh, we sure can. We're good. It's going to hit okay. Alright, what can we do here? We got bots on cap. Oof. Winged him. Hello, Emily. Hello! We really should put some space armor on this thing, shouldn't we? 
Eload. Okay, we're, we're getting shots blocked by the, the cord. Uh, we need to move it. We do. And the actual player here. Let's shift focus. Because we have to angle to get it to hit, which is it's not ideal. So the cord doesn't really... I mean, the Avenger doesn't really angle. It's a very limited firing arc weapon. Right, he's done. He's done. Get away. Ow. 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 Um... Can we detonate on anybody right now? Can we? Um... Let's see what we can do. Get over here. Oh! Well, we took somebody out with us. Alright, we forgot to put our engineer flag back on, which was a bad idea. And this cord is, is just totally ruining my day here. Um, <laughs> it's just... Oh, it's blocking this. Uh, we could move our Avenger up a weld point. So we might we might just do that. It's gonna not be protected. Oh, there's no weld points. Oh, that's not good. Because now if we lose this, we and that, we lose both our fenders. We're gonna lose our grills because they're not attached to the cap, which is not ideal. We're gonna move that up, and we're gonna move our Avenger up just because I don't want to have to move. I don't want to have to move the cord because there's really nowhere else to put it, so we're just going to attach our Avenger straight to the cab. Then, you know what? We're not going to lose it, even if it does get blasted and blown up. Um, so the grills really aren't doing a whole lot right there. Three pieces left, but one of those pieces definitely needs to be our engineer flag so we can grind away, get some more levels, and we got canvas roof, absolutely. It's one of our bigger pieces. Get a little more HP. Let's let's use our grills here, and we're gonna make some spaced armor for the front of this thing. Okay, so we're gonna extend this out so that it's light, and when our canvas piece gets nailed, the explosion will be far enough away from most of our other parts that they shouldn't take too much damage. It should be light enough that uh, God, it's so ugly. It should be light enough that it won't mess up our handling too bad. So we got two parts left. 45 on mass, 45 versus 20. Seven durability. More durability. Let's protect up our frames here a little bit. Just a, just a little. All right, you know what? Boom. And bing, bang, boom. Super ugly. There we go. All right, so we got a little space armor on this thing. Let's test drive it. Can we Can we hit better now? And, yep, we got them on the same keys. Whoops. I'm actually going to be better off with Cord on one, Avenger on two. And we battle. Octopus Chicken. That's a phenomenal name, friend. I love it. Oh, we nailed him. Take that. I'm going to try and flank around back here. Where's this guy going? Where's he going? Well, let's go peek around here. We do really need to get a radar on this thing. We are struggling to detect guys at range. Um, whoop! Landed a hit there. We'll take it. Peek around. Peek around, friend. Oh, winged him. Winged him. Let's get those guns. There we go. There we go. Put you out of your misery, friend. Oh! He's, he's pretty much done on weapons. Let's switch targets here to a higher threat. Yeah, don't just stay on a target if there's somebody shooting you or that has guns. Once they're done with guns, you can you can move on to somebody more dangerous. And if you're if you're shooting a bot and then you see a player show up, you know don't don't just stick with the bot. I mean, you could be helping take out a more threatening human player. Uh, have I done that before? Have I shot bots? I'm not gonna comment. You can you can go check a video how many times we've done that. Um. Oh, what do we got up here? Octopus chickens on the job? Thanks, octopus chicken. Back here. Let's get this guy. Get that gun. Always go for guns, guys. Guns and then wheels and then explosives. We're gonna trade some more scrap off here, so we're gonna sell at 5.47 here. 
just a little bit below the lowest price. We can get that sold off. Lovely. So what do we got for offers? We got that done. Okay. Anything we can do to improve this? Well, we're not really doing a lot with these hatchets because we've got spaced armor on this thing uh, in the front, kind of blocking our hatchets here from really doing their jobs. So we'll just put them on the side for, you know, ramming protection and we'll slap this bumper on the back to protect the rear of our build here. And then other than that, we make a little bit of money. Okay, can we put in a trade here on a, on a growl? Let's do that. If they're even anywhere close enough to what we want. So let's see what it's trading at. We're going to right click. We're going to hit trade. 3130. We're close. We need 10 more coin though. If we're going to get anywhere near being able to buy one of these. Which means more grinding. More pew pewing away. And we'll see if we can get there. Uh, guys, that's going to be it for this one. So this is, this is where we got to with today's build. Grinding away. We got from level 4 to level 5. Nearly to level 6. Not really. But the engineer flag, you do get one when you start out. Which is nice. I'm glad they're giving those to new players. So do remember those. Um, you know, we haven't done the jump on one of these for a while. So yeah, hold tab to quickly view your map. Definitely check your map when you're in combat. We need to add a radar on this thing. Um, if you guys find these new player tutorial videos useful, let me know in the comments. Uh, that's it for this one. I gotta go do my real job. So if you enjoyed this, throw us a like. And if you're new, throw us a sub. And make sure you come by the Discord as well. Link in description. That's it. Mr. G out.